Hello there my cuties, it's your local mandarin and today we are going to do a little bit of a throwback because I will be going to Bunga Fashion College, yay! If you've been watching my channel for a while, you'll know that I was actually a student at Bunga Fashion College and this year I've actually been invited as like a special guest to come and watch their fashion show. We are in the middle of a pandemic so right now people can't really go normally as they were able to before, like before regular people could just buy tickets and like go in. But now it's very limited, I'm not sure how limited it is but I was invited! I was actually invited by my old classmate Saki. She invited me as like press, which sounds really official. I'm not that official. But yeah, I think it was so nice of her to invite me. I'm very excited to go. I'm going to be seeing my classmates there from before that you guys already know. Nae, Kinu, and Nagi, I feel like I'll definitely see. Hikaru is currently living in New York, but she's like here for the holidays. And I think we're gonna be able to meet after, but it's like very up in the air because she has like an online thing. I don't know. A lot of you guys have been wondering if I'm still friends with these people. And yes, we are very much still friends. Obviously, it's hard for them to meet me because they're all still students. But whenever there's a holiday rule meeting and right now it's currently Christmas. It's like the Christmas season This will be uploaded in February because Bunga asked me not to post this until they've posted it But yeah on the 26th we're all doing like a little secret Santa and stuff So very much still friends with pretty much every single person that I was friends with back then It's just harder to meet now, you know Kino is actually gonna be working on the lights and Noah is gonna be helping me with the camera Because guess what? I'm gonna be able to try on one of the costumes that they're wearing for the show Saki like said that they're gonna do like a whole like runway after the show with me which is very fun. Yeah, it's just gonna be a very, very fun day. Let's have a little throwback. Go back to Bunker together. A lot of people have told me that I'm someone who inspired them to try to go to Bunker. I think because before me, there weren't that many people posting about being like a foreign student at Bunker and so I think a lot of people didn't realize it's actually possible but it very much is and a lot of people who actually entered Bunker have come and like spoken to me about how much I like my Bunker videos it makes me so happy so thank you to everyone who's like messaged me about it and stuff like it's so sweet and I really want to take this little opportunity to congratulate my friend Adrienne because Adrienne actually got into Bunker she's going to do amazing I'm sure I'm very excited for her yeah that is our day today we've been invited to Bunker I'm so excited it's like full circle <laughs> because first I'm gonna be going to work I've like worked during the day and and then I'm going to be into Bunker. It's like my new life and my old life like mixed together into one day. Very exciting. But quickly before we get into today's video, I would very much like to thank the sponsor NordVPN. If you've been watching my channel, you already know what NordVPN is, but basically it's a VPN. <laughs> the main thing that a VPN can do is pretend that you are somewhere else. Basically. So for example, if you're on Netflix and something is only available on Netflix in Japan, for example, like a lot of anime is, you can really simply use NordVPN to pretend that you are in Japan and therefore give you access to all the content that your heart desires. This also goes for, for example, gaming or YouTube videos that are blocked in your country. They have over 5,200 servers in 60 countries, so you can definitely find the one that you need. NordVPN even has this thing called NordLinks, which basically ensures that you will not at all slow down your computer. It's actually going to be really fast. In fact, according to the speed test, NordVPN is the fastest VPN out there. You can use it on six different devices, which is amazing because Yasu and I can use just one account on our phones, on our laptops, on everything that we need. The main thing really that a VPN does is it hides your information from the websites that you go to so they won't have any access to any of your information. This is most useful, for example, when you're using public Wi-Fi. It helps protect your information like your bank details from hackers. And in fact, they even have a double VPN, which means that you can route your traffic through two VPN servers. Because I don't know if you know this, but they actually use the information that they collect on you to, for example, price flat. So if you use a VPN, you can actually very often find cheaper flight tickets. Just a lot of really amazing things like that. I've been using NordVPN for so many years now and I can't imagine my life without it. So if you'd like to try NordVPN, click the link in the description, which is nordvpn.com slash and use the coupon code MEKAN. That's nordvpn.com slash and the coupon code MEKAN. They even have a 30-day money-back guarantee, so if you don't like it, you can simply get your money back and not use it. But I'm certain that you will end up liking it. Thank you again to NordVPN for sponsoring this video. Let's get on with the rest. I guess I just chose the wrong day to have my hair out. It's so windy today, but it's still quite a nice day. It's not cold by any chance. Look at these meringue rose lollies. We've got to work right now. They look so cute. Okay, my boss is actually letting me take some of these for my friends in Bunka, so I'm really excited. I hope they like it. When I came in, I asked my boss what fruit this was because it's so big and round. I was like, did we get like melons or something? No, it's literally just a pear. How are the pears so big here? I always bring just like a bowl of dry cereal to work these days. And then I use the milk that we're supposed to use for the strawberry milk in it. And my boss knows about it and he just like doesn't care. If anything, I think he finds it hilarious because he always makes fun of me for it. It's just because I like never have time in the morning for breakfast. So I just take my breakfast to work and eat it at the start of my shift. No one stops me. Cutting some fruits while crouching because that is the only way that I was able to fit into the screen. 
But yeah, it's a pretty typical day at work. It's quite quiet, but it's still early. Usually on weekdays before like one, it's still quite quiet. Taylor came to visit me. She always comes while I'm working and you got a strawberry hot rod. Yay. <laughs> okay, leaving work early now because it's time to go to bunker. As I was leaving, I almost forgot my cereal bowl and my boss had to remind me to get it. And he also gave me this bag full of, what are they called again? Meringue roses to give to my friends. Nothing quite like the temple at sunset. Genuinely hard to believe this is real life. But yeah, I'm so excited. So Kimi showed me the schedule that they have and it says in the schedule that I'm coming and I'm like, oh my gosh, I feel so VIP. <laughs> Genuinely just super excited for it. Oh my gosh, it's been so long since I've walked this way. It's so exciting. Yeah, as you can see by that sign there, it seems like they're basically doing like an online culture festival, which confused me because usually the culture festival is in like November. So I was like, what event is this? But yeah, the fashion show is for the culture festival, which I guess they're doing later this year. Look who it is! Noeda! Hi. Sanai no? あ、ちょっと待って。バイトから来たって言ったじゃん。それより早めに行けないよ。かわいい。ま、ミカには負けますけどね。ミカには負けるんですけど。いやいやいや。ノイより可愛い人いないんだ。じゃあ、お願いします
you probably didn't expect me to choose this one to try on, but this is the one we're trying. I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, so I feel like I need to warn you for what's about to come. <laughs> First of all, I was really, really rushed onto the stage and none of the crowns were fitting me so they were trying desperately to really quickly in the time that we had find a crown that would fit my head. And during all that mayhem, I forgot to even take off my mask. But the most important thing is I didn't even realize that there was going to be a crowd. There was a whole crowd of students. I thought it was gonna be like an empty audience with like no people in seats. So when I came out, I was shocked and I was awkward <laughs> and I kind of froze. So. Sorry, this is genuinely like one of the most embarrassing moments of my life. It's just a lot, like you're just, I'm uh, sorry for what you're about to see. <laughs> ね、人がいると思わなくて。なんか出たらすっごいドキドキしちゃって、なんかどうするべきかわかんなくて。ありがとう。さっきありがとう。本当にすごい楽しかった。優しい。さっきありがとう。本当にすごい楽しかった。い
super tired now. It's been quite a long day, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish this video here. So, thank you guys ever so much for watching. Leave all your thoughts down below in the comment section. I'd love to read them. Don't forget to hit like and so. <laughs> What is she doing? What is she doing? <laughs> yeah, don't don't forget to hit like and subscribe.